an offer to negotiate and a call on NATO to stop its air campaign. Colonel Muammar Gaddafi addressed NATO states saying it was time to talk. They speak of a ceasefire. We, the Libyans, are the first to welcome a ceasefire. We're the first to accept a ceasefire. But have the Crusaders, the NATO airstrikes, stopped? They haven't stopped. Who can stop them? Libya welcomes the ceasefire and has announced this numerous times and is ready even now. But a ceasefire cannot be from one side. NATO's response was quick and clear. We need to see not words but actions. The regime has announced ceasefire several times before and continued attacking cities and civilians. NATO will continue operations until all attacks and threats against civilians have ceased. In the streets of the opposition stronghold of Benghazi, it's difficult to find someone that trusts the colonel's offer. We don't believe him. He's a hypocrite. We don't want Gaddafi. He didn't have mercy on us for 42 years. He's a liar. We want NATO to intervene against this war criminal. I never trust him. He lost legitimacy. He doesn't have peace. He's a Satan. Eastern Libya is free as people like to call it here, and no one is willing to give up on it. The Transitional National Council has also rejected any possible political solution that keeps Colonel Gaddafi in power. Opposition leaders have also said the time for compromise has passed. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Benghazi.